back home. In Sydney, an excited family is bringing home a brand new puppy. We're home. Ready to meet your family? Puppy's home, Dan. Mum Jordana, son Dan and daughter Mikola can't wait to welcome home eight-week-old Grudel Gigi. Oh, let her out. She's dying to get out. I think a pu puppy will bring lots of joy to the family. You know, it's just like having a little one around and it's very playful and brings a lightness to the family. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby. Welcome home. So it'll be lots of fun, um, new adventures and experiences and yeah, it'll be lovely. Hey. Oh, you're so cute. You are beautiful. Vet Audrey is on her way to check the new arrival and help the family with any advice. We know that she's come from a great breeder, but it's nothing like um, getting the advice of someone that you respect and trust. So I've got a new puppy consult today. Hi, Gordana. Hi, Michaela. Hi, Hi Audrey. Puppy. <laughs> this is our baby. Oh, she's still sleeping. Her name's Gigi, she's a little grudel, and I love these kind of consults because I get to meet the new puppy, but also that eight week check is the most important check. She's literally been with us for a couple of hours. Hours. Yeah. And she's so comfortable, she's had a nap already. Yeah. You wanna come in the van so Auntie Audrey can check you out? Come yes, on. please. Grudels, they have a wonderful temperament, and the good thing about them, even though they are longer coated, they won't really shed much because of the poodle mix. Grudel puppies are really popular. They're a mixture of golden retrievers and poodles. And generally speaking, we look at the problems that we can see with both breeds. Poodles are prone to knee problems, so I'm just gonna have a check and make sure she's got nice knees, nice joints. And that actually feels really stable, really, really good. Now let's check out your ears. With every breed of puppy, there are certain problems they can be predisposed to. With a Grudel puppy, I'm always looking at the ears to make sure that they look nice and wide, they look healthy. She's actually got pretty good ear canals, they're nice and open. Mm -hmm. So they look pretty clean, but I'm going to show you how to clean them, because mm -hmm. she's got to get used to it, that's very, very important. Straight away after a bath, straight away if she's gone swimming, okay. all the time for this breed. Mm -hmm. If you use water, it's going to keep it moist, and then bacteria and fungus is going to grow. Mm -hmm. So you've got to make sure that you use only the special dog ear cleaners to clean her ears. Okay. So I'm actually going to put that down as far as it will go. Oh, yeah, tickle, tickle, tickle. So the reason why I massage it is it has to go down two ear canals, the vertical and the horizontal. Mm -hmm. So a lot of slushing and a lot of frothing. And then you're just going to wipe that all up. So all we need to do is just get her used to this mm -hmm. so it doesn't become a problem. It's all preventative. And you know what? For a puppy, she's pretty good. I don't think you're going to have any problems doing this once a week. Everything looks great. She's growing well. Her body condition is really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she loves you. So clean bill of health today. Let's talk nutrition. Mm -hmm. She would have come with some puppy food that the breed has been feeding her, but we want to transition her onto a really good puppy food, so mm -hmm. a balanced food that's good for her digestion and good for her growth. Going through nutrition is really important. It's really easy to overfeed your animal, and if you do have an overweight dog, there comes a whole heap of problems. There's things like diabetes, liver or kidney disease, so we want to make sure we get it right from the start. So I do recommend Hills Science Diet Small Paws Puppy Food. So this kibble is great. So we only want to transition her on really slowly because, you know, puppies have very sensitive guts. So whatever she's having at the moment, you want to half and half, and then over a seven day period, she wants to be solely onto this food, which okay. is completely balanced in things like calcium and phosphorus, which is important for growth. And it's also got omega oils, which will keep Grudel's coat really nice. So that's the perfect food for her. Oh, she loves it. She wants more. It was a great relief seeing Gigi take that food from Audrey's hand. It just means that we won't have issues with her diet going forward. So I'm excited to see how she grows and so excited to be her vet. Only the best for Gigi. <laughs> Only the best. <laughs>